What's up, everybody? One second. You're not supposed to see me in a video wearing a non-black v-neck. Let me take care of that. Much, much better. Now, where was I? What's up, everybody? How's it going? Today, we've got a very exciting video. I'm going to be sharing with you exactly how much I made as a software engineer at Facebook. I'm going to be showing you what my total compensation package was. We're going to be looking at all aspects of it, and we're going to be doing so completely transparently with full total candor. I want to share this information because I think that it's very important for people in the industry to know exactly how much they can expect to make as software engineers at big tech companies like Facebook or like Google. I think that there isn't nearly enough information about compensation out there, and the little information that is out there is often you know, inaccurate, like either it's not detailed enough, people don't give you the full picture by looking or drilling down into the various aspects of compensation, or sometimes it's completely over-exaggerated, sometimes it's under-exaggerated because people forget about entire parts of the compensation package. But so this is why I'm doing this, and I hope that you really appreciate it. Now before we jump into the figure... One second, do you see that? Where did that come from? That was like somewhere in the air over there. Anyway, before we jump into the figures, I just want to say two quick things. I know some of you already like, come on, this guy's wasting our time, we just want to see the figures. One second, one second. Two things. Uh, first of all, the only thing that I ask of you in exchange for this information that I'm sharing is that you gently click on the like button, make it turn into a blue thumbs up button. That would really help with the with the video. It helps with the YouTube algorithm, with engagement, yada, yada, yada. So really appreciate if you do that. And uh, the second thing is uh, just for you to listen to a very brief message from our sponsor today. We actually have a sponsor today, and that sponsor is my company, AlgoExpert, AlgoExpert.io. If you're preparing for coding interviews like the ones that big tech companies like Facebook or Google like to give, trying to think of my pitch here. Uh, make sure to check out algoexpert.io, use their promo code CLEM, C-L-E-M, for a discount on the platform, and go ace those coding interviews. Now with that, let's actually dive into the figures. So it's important to start by giving you a little bit of context. I was a software engineer at Facebook, not a machine learning engineer, not a production engineer, just a pure software engineer, and I was based in the New York City office. Now this is very important because New York City, probably tied with the Bay Area, is uh, the city that commands the highest compensation packages in the industry in large part because the market rates in New York City are very high, in large part because the cost of living in New York City is obscenely high, but so that's very important to remember because compensation packages in New York City are just gonna be naturally higher than compensation packages in other parts of the United States or in other parts of the world. So I was based in New York City, uh, I was a software engineer at Facebook, and I was an E4 software engineer. This is the equivalent of L4 at Google. It is sort of the mid-level engineer. L3 or E3 is the entry-level engineer that you typically are straight out of college. L4 is for people who've been in the industry for a couple of years, so I had been at Google for two years and two months before that. That was my only work experience. And then there is L5 uh, which or E5, which is a senior engineer, and then you keep going higher, staff engineer, and so on and so forth. So I was an E4 software engineer in the New York City office at Facebook, and now let's actually dive into the figures. So if you're not familiar with the way compensation packages work in the tech industry, there are multiple components to them. The first one is what's called the base salary. This is the amount that the company has to pay you. It pays it to you in full hard cash, and at a company like Facebook or Google, it's paid on a bi-weekly basis, meaning every two weeks. So there are 26 pay periods in the year, and so my base salary was $167,000. You can do the math, divide that by 26 if you want to know how much I made per pay period, meaning how much every two weeks, how much you could expect, and keep in mind that this is the gross amount there are taxes. And if you think of... Sorry, I was just thinking about how much you have to pay in taxes if you live in New York City. But so yes, this is the gross amount. Do remember that you have taxes. The second component of the compensation package is the annual bonus. 
The annual bonus is typically given as a percentage of your base salary, and there's typically a sort of baseline percentage that you are expected to get if you perform decently. Now, if you don't perform super well, you may not get that bonus, but typically you will. If you perform very well, you'll get more. So at Facebook, the bonus was 10%, the baseline bonus. If you remember from my video about Google salaries, at Google it was 15%. And to give you an idea, my two annual bonuses at Google, I got 22% roughly and 24% roughly. So I definitely got more than that baseline 15%. That being said, for the purpose of an offer, you always look at that baseline. You don't say, oh, I expect that I'm going to perform super well. You might like think of that, you know, but you should look at the baseline offer when you're trying to, or the baseline bonus when you're trying to make uh, comparisons. So 10% at Facebook means 10% uh, of the base of the base salary, which was $167,000. So $16.7,000. Another little interesting note is that at Facebook, the annual bonus is actually not annual. Maybe it's not even called annual bonus. It's given out twice per year. So I think it's, you know, 5% for one half of the year and 5% for the other half. And again, these percentages can go up if you perform well, but that's something to note. At Google, it was only once per year, the 15% baseline bonus. The third part of the compensation package is the stock award. Now, the way that these big tech companies like to give out stock, at least in their initial offers, is they give you a four-year stock award. So it's a number, of shares in the company that you will get over four years following a specific schedule. So at Facebook, I received a stock award of $360,000 over four years. So if you divide that by four, it's $90,000 per year. And then Facebook has a very nice vesting schedule where you get, you vest part of the stock award every quarter. There's a small caveat, which is that depending on when you start, you might have a slightly delayed uh, first vesting date, but overall your stock award vests every quarter, an amount proportional to how much you would expect from a quarter. So to do the math, you can divide $360,000 uh, by four for how much I would get per year, that would be 90,000. And then you can divide that by four again if you wanna know how much I would get per quarter. Now, one other thing to keep in mind is that again, this is given in the form of shares in the company. Now at big tech companies like Facebook or Google or Amazon, these shares are very similar to cash because the stocks tend to perform very well. That being said, not all the time, right? That's not always true. So to clarify how it works, imagine that you join Facebook on date X. Facebook is gonna see what the price of Facebook stock was roughly around that time. They have a specific formula. I think they look at the month before or something like that. And they'll say, okay, the price of Facebook stock was, I don't know, $190. I think that was roughly what it was for me. So at 190, or maybe it was 170, I forget. At $190, how many shares would you, of Facebook stock would you need at this price to get $360,000? Let's say you need, I don't know, 400 shares. All right, Clement, that's what you get. You get 400 shares over four years. If the stock goes up, great for you. If the stock goes down, uh, you're gonna lose some money or you're not gonna be making as much, right? You're not gonna be making $90,000 per year. So again, for these big tech companies, this is often not really a big deal. It's probably gonna be beneficial to you because you look at the stock of Facebook, Amazon, Google, Apple over the last like five to 10 years, they've been doing really well. However, admittedly, take Facebook for example, about a year or a year and a half ago, I forget now, when they had their whole scandal, right? And the stock sort of plummeted in in like one day, if you had joined right before that date, I'm not sure what happened. You probably, you know, I doubt that they like were nice to people and changed their offers or something. So you probably got, you know, kind of screwed over. If you joined right after the time that it plummeted, you probably got really lucky because suddenly the price was so much lower, you got way more shares to, you know, t for your offer. And now it's been going up and up and up. And now, you know, you, you've made a lot of money on that. But okay, so right now we've got the base salary of $167,000. We've got the annual bonus of a baseline 10%, $16.7,000. And then finally, we've got the stock award which per year comes down to $90,000 if we don't assume that the stock price is gonna go up or down. So that puts us as at a total compensation package of 
$1,000 and $700. I don't know how to say that number in English, ex Google, ex Facebook. Uh, but then, that's not it. There's still one more component to the compensation package, which is the sign-on bonus. Companies like Facebook or Google like to give competitive candidates a sign-on bonus, which is a one-time uh, monetary sum when they start to sort of incentivize them to come. Now, if you remember the video that I made on Google salaries, I didn't get a sign-on bonus when I was at Google because I didn't have competitive offers at the time. I only, uh, I had only the Google offer and, you know, they didn't, they didn't need to give me a sign-on bonus to make me come. I was just like, yes, I'll come for almost anything. Now at Facebook, it was a lot different. I had a very cushy job at Google. I was doing very well at Google. I was performing very well. And so Facebook gave me a sign-on bonus of $75,000. So if you do the math, that puts my total compensation for the first year at Facebook uh, at $347. $700. How do you say big numbers in English? Sorry, I also messed up the math. Math major. Really, I'm like the worst math major engineer in the world. Uh, $348,000. $348,700. That was my total compensation for the first year at Facebook, keeping in mind that there was a sign-on bonus in there. Once the sign-on bonus is done, you know, after the first year, then it dips down to $273,700 per year. But of course, the way these big tech companies work is that every year, especially if you perform well, they give you more and more stock. And of course, if you get promoted, you get raises and so on and so forth. As you can see, this was a very strong compensation package. It's actually pretty outrageous when you compare it to other fields, you know, non-tech fields. Uh, you realize that the tech industry and, you know, the software engineering industry is really, really well compensated. It also puts certain things into perspective. You start to realize, you know, I'm not trying to plug Algo Expert here again. Maybe I am. But uh, you start to realize that you know, services like Algo Expert that prepare you for the coding interviews that you need to pass in order to get these kinds of compensation packages. Algo Expert is $77. Think of how much $77 is compared to that compensation package that I had at Facebook. If I'm being honest, I'm not really sure where I was going there. I wanted to kind of make a cool plug for Algo Expert, but I didn't really have anywhere that I was going. I guess the point is like, these tech salaries are gigantic. They're absolutely absurd. We should be really grateful for them. Also, the fact that these tech companies, you know, they're, they treat you extremely well. You get fed, you have great benefits. There are other financial perks to being there, like great 401k plans, for instance. There are lots of other little things that you can expense to them. As an example, Facebook, at least in the New York City office, allows you to expense $350 worth of noise canceling headphones to them. So for instance, you can expense air pods or you can expense, you know, Bose um, 700 headphones, noise canceling headphones, which is kind of crazy. Just these little additional things. Anyway, at this point, I divigate. Oh, and by the way, if you want more information about compensation packages at big tech companies, I'd recommend checking out the website levels.fyi. We've actually done a lot of advertising on them with Algo Expert, but they're a really cool website. They offer a lot of transparency about compensation, and I just really recommend them. That's gonna be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you appreciated the transparency. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment down below what you think about the video, and I'll see you in the next one.